All right, now when it comes to affordable gaming products, it's really hard to beat the Asus Tough lineup. I mean, the whole brand has been built around offering value for money components, which is basically offering you all the specs that you need and a good experience while maximizing the performance and not spending a lot of buck. I mean, that is the whole idea around the Tough lineup. And in that context, the Tough series has been excelling in the market. Now, interestingly, the Tough in itself has two different lineups. One, you have the normal Tough, and then you also have the Tough Dash series. Now, we've already reviewed the Asus Tough F15 for this year's variant, but now Asus has launched the refresh for the Tough Dash F15 as well. So, of course, the question remains what all is new here? And is this new Asus Tough Dash F15 2022 variant even worth it? Well, this is one from GTR, and you're watching my in depth review of the Asus Tough, whatever that laptop is. <laughs> Let's get started. All right, so let's start off by talking about the design here. Now, on the face of it, it's quite similar to the Asus Stuff F15 that we reviewed recently on the channel. However, the dual tone finish here is what completely sets it apart and makes me love the design. I mean, just look at it. The white and black combo is really good here and adds a lot of definition to the laptop. The sharp edges give it the gamery look, while the subtle design elements here make it look premium too. My only complaint here is that as good as it looks, it gets dirty far too easily because it's white. Now, I would strongly advise not using the laptop if you have oily hands or if you're eating and using your laptop because trust me, those are stains that will take some time washing off the premium white finish of it. Now, in terms of I.O., it's the same as the Tough F15. You get the barrel charging plug followed by an RJ45 LAN port, a full-size HDMI 2.0B port, a Thunderbolt 4 port, a USB-C 3.2 Gen 1 port, a USB-A 3.2 Gen 1 port, and a 3.5 headphone jack all on the left side. Over to the right side, you get a Kensington lock and another USB 3.2 Gen 1 port. At 2 kgs, the laptop isn't super heavy, but then again, it isn't ultra portable either. What's more is that while the majority of the build is plastic, the laptop does come with military grade protection, so you don't have to worry a lot. Moving on to the display, our unit here comes with a 15.6 inch Full HD display with a 144Hz refresh rate. Now, in terms of color accuracy, our panel here offers 65% sRGB coverage. However, the higher variants also come with support for up to 100% sRGB coverage and even a higher Quad HD 165Hz panel. Nonetheless, let's focus on what we have with us. 65% might sound a bit on the low side, but for basic color grading, that's still efficient. The thing to keep in mind is that this is a gaming laptop, and in that context, the colors still look quite vibrant. Also, what matters more is the higher refresh rate here, and the 144Hz panel works very well. As for content consumption, the display gets adequately bright, and the side bezels are quite slim, so your focus stays on the picture. What's more is that you also get dual firing stereo speakers with Dolby Atmos here. Now, this is a great addition, I would say, because while the speakers themselves are pretty good, the app lets you fine tune them as per your liking too. Next up, we have the keyboard and the touchpad, and those things are completely the same as the Tough F15 that we reviewed earlier. Now, you can check out my in-depth verdict on both the keyboard and the touchpad in my in-depth review of the F15 over here, but just to give you a gist of it, the keyboard works well, the layout is good, and the RGB complements it very well. However, the springy feedback could have been improved. As for the touchpad, considering it's a gaming laptop, it works very well without any complaints. Alright, so now let's talk about the performance. Now our unit here, as configured, comes with a 12th gen Intel Core i5 12450H processor, coupled with a single stick of 8GB DDR5 RAM, slot at 4800MHz. You get a 512 GB NVMe SSD, and for GPU prowess, we have the NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3050 laptop GPU. There's also the ASUS MUX switch, which the company adds. Now, in a nutshell, the purpose is to eliminate the delay in processing times. Honestly, even ASUS claims that the difference is just 5 to 10 percent, and in our testing, we did not notice any significant changes. So, again, I won't be dwelling into much detail over that. Speaking of the performance, you have the numbers on your screen right now. Now, in synthetic tests, the Tough Dash F15 spits out pretty respectable numbers about what you would expect from a laptop with this spec. Moving on to gaming benchmarks, the RTX 3050 is pretty capable of running even AAA titles at a combo of media and high settings. See, thanks to its nature, even a single stick of DDR5 RAM technically works in dual nature. However, the capacity is still going to be a bottleneck, especially if you are working about high intensive workloads where there are a lot of resources involved. Now, in my testing, the peak temperatures did touch the 90 degree mark. 
But the good part is that we did not notice any sort of throttling, which is good. Lastly, we have the battery and the Tuff Dash F15 comes with a 76 watt hour battery. Now in my testing, the laptop actually gave a battery backup, which is close to five and a half hours, which is pretty good considering the hardware that it packs in. Now while the laptop ships with a barrel plug charge in the box, it also supports 100 watts of USB PD charging, which is quite convenient. So the big question, is the ASUS Tuff Dash F15 worth it? Well, our unit here as configured comes at a starting price tag of Rs 92,000, like something around that ballpark. And for that price, well, there are two ways to look about it. If you just need the GPU prowess of the RTX 3050 and you want it basically for gaming, I would strongly advise not investing in this laptop or any other 12th gen laptop for that matter. Instead, you can save a buck and go for one of those 11th gen laptops that still come with the same GPU. Those will cost you at least like 10 to 15,000 cheaper and will definitely last you for a long time nonetheless. So if you're primarily buying it just for gaming, well, even the 11th gen variants should be fine. However, you need to understand that with this laptop, you're buying the next gen variants. Now these are 12th gen laptops with DDR5 RAM and also you have the upgradability factor here as well. So you can upgrade to bigger capacity of RAM as well. Not to forget that the 12th gen laptops also offer better battery backup as I mentioned in my review. So if you factor in all of those things and if you plan on upgrading your system down the line as well, it's better to buy a modern laptop with the latest hardware, which will obviously last you for a longer period of the time and also aid you for all of your needs, whether it's gaming or content creation or any sort of productivity task as well. And well, that was it. If you found this video helpful, make sure to let us know by giving us a thumbs up and subscribing to our channel for more awesome tech content. Till then, this is one from GTR and I'll see you in the next one.